recent overturning of Roe v. Wade has sparked concerns that access to contraception and gay rights could also be endangered. We all know that. But are Republicans themselves in danger of overplaying their hand by moving too far to the right too fast and possibly alienating moderate voters? What we're seeing in Florida, I can't even comprehend. Mm -hmm. This is a state where we have a housing crisis. This is a state where we have an insurance crisis. This is a state where we have a climate crisis. And instead, Ron DeSantis is focusing to fo uh, uh, focusing on drag queens. And so listen, yes, do I think a five-year-old should be at a drag show? No. But you know what? If you are for parental choice when it comes to your kid wearing a mask to school, if you are for parental choice when it comes to your kid learning about slavery and learning the true history of this country, then why in the hell can't you be about parental choice on whether you take your kid to a drag show or not? Well, yes. that's true. This is, you know, you're cherry-picking this. I'm, I'm, I, listen, I, I right. looked at the, at, the, at the top causes of uh, endangerment for children, of children's death. It's firearms. It's car accidents. You know, it's drowning. Right it is Anna. not drag queen. Right, I'm yet Anna. to see a kid who but, dies from being as cold for drag queen. That was a clip from the August 1st episode of The View shared by the Deputy Press Secretary of Ron DeSantis, Brian Griffin. And he says, The View emailed our office on Friday asking for us to arrange an appearance from Governor DeSantis on the show. We would be honored, they wrote. Thoughts? Now, the reason why he shared that particular clip was because obviously they were criticizing Ron DeSantis in said clip. So the juxtaposition with, you know, them criticizing him and also extending an invite is supposedly going to make the view look bad. But I mean, they're obviously critical of him. So does Ron DeSantis want to face some of his critics? And the answer ultimately is no, because as you'll learn, they declined the views invite. Now we'll talk about their reasoning in a moment here, but it's just interesting that this like big, strong, tough guy doesn't want to go on a program because they were big meanies and his fifis were hurt. Yeah. And what they were saying was not uncharitable. I rarely agree with Ana Navarro on anything, but what she said there was factually correct. As Axios reports, last week, Florida Education Commissioner Manny Diaz told school districts to ignore federal guidelines aimed at protecting students and teachers from discrimination because of their sexual orientation or gender identity. And that guidance was issued following an executive order signed by Joe Biden, which creates federal standards when it comes to discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation and gender identity. Ron DeSantis is saying here in the state of Florida, we discriminate on the basis of sexual orientation and gender identity. Yeah, so how can you say that their criticism is somehow bad when it's accurate? On top of that, he's going after small businesses who are LGBTQ plus inclusive. As HuffPost explains, the Florida Department of Business and Professional Regulation filed an administrative complaint for disorderly conduct against our house restaurant, citing the state Supreme Court ruling against men impersonating women. According to the complaint, a copy of which was obtained by NBC News, the video shows what appears to be a transgender dancer leading a young girl by the hand and walking through respondents dining area the dancer's buttocks were fully exposed and his g-string style bikini bottom was stuffed with dollar bills the dancer's breasts were also fully exposed noted the complaint the complaint alleges that our house violated state public nuisance law by becoming manifestly injurious to the morals or manners of the people the department cited the 1947 florida supreme court decision that found that men impersonating women in a suggestive performance constitutes a public nuisance LGBTQ activists view the action as the opening of a campaign to shut down all drag shows and go after trans people. Now, the whole reason why Ron DeSantis claims he is against CRT and had to sign the Don't Say Gay Bill into law was because he believes in parental rights. Parents should have the autonomy to raise their children without the state or federal government indoctrinating them into their values. But here he is doing the opposite, saying, actually, I get to decide, the state gets to decide what is and isn't appropriate for your child. Now, I watched the video in question. It was shared by Libs of TikTok. And while I think that family-friendly LGBTQ plus events and drag shows are generally fine for children, assuming that they're age appropriate for this particular event, I probably wouldn't feel comfortable personally taking my nephews or my niece to that event. But I also wouldn't feel comfortable taking my nephews or my niece to an NRA event. I didn't let my nephew play, you know, M-rated video games when he was 12 years old and he wanted to, but there are different levels of comfort for parents. So, you know, when I worked at Walmart, I was in the electronics department and I would warn parents that the game that they were purchasing for their 
prepubescent child was rated M and it had violence in GTA 5. There was torture in it and many of them were fine with that. So it just depends on what the comfort level is. But what's important is that there's no harm being done here. That child in that particular video is not being abused. Perhaps it's a little bit inappropriate based on your comfort level, right? But what matters is what the parents want. And if a parent thinks that that's fine, who is Ron DeSantis to tell them that it's not okay? You know, does Ron DeSantis go after kids at NRA shows? Does Ron DeSantis go after, you know, Hooters? or any supposed sexualization of children when it comes to heterosexual things? Well, of course not, because he's trying to go after LGBTQ plus people exclusively, and, part and in particular with this business, he wants to get their liquor license revoked, which would be catastrophic for their business. And he knows that there's no harm that's being done, hence why he had to cite a 1947 state Supreme Court decision alleging that this event was injurious to the morals and manners of the people. So in other words, it's indecent, and that's why he's against it. Okay, well, don't take your kids to that event. Don't do things that you view as indecent, so long as there's no abuse, nothing illegal going on there, no harm being done, it's none of your fucking business. But Ron DeSantis is using the power of the state to crack down on parental rights, to crack down on small businesses. So I'm sorry, when you've created this statewide witch hunt against LGBTQ plus people, and you don't apply the same standard of outrage when it comes to heterosexual equivalent events. I mean, people are right to criticize you considering that Americans are more accepting of LGBTQ plus people than ever before, but yet he doesn't want to face his critics. And because The View had the audacity to criticize him, he ultimately decided to reject their invite, and his deputy press secretary shared this press release, citing times that they criticized Ron DeSantis on the show. So Joy Behar, in August 2021, said, You're just short of calling DeSantis a negligent homicidal sociopath because that's what he is. She added, What is he doing? He's risking the lives of children, children's parents, their grandparents, anyone they may come into contact with, so he can appeal to his white supremacist base, so he can continue in his career and get reelected. They're presumably talking about his COVID policies, which were catastrophic. Sonny Hostin in June of 2022, Death Sanders, I think he's a fascist and a bigot. Accurate. Anna Navarro, April 2022, on his policy saying it's anti-black, it's anti-gay, it's anti-LGBTQ plus community, and for some reason the Republican base responds to it, and it's anti-American. It's what happens in Venezuela, it's what happens in Nicaragua. I agree with her, although I think that the comparison to Latin American countries is unnecessary. Sonny Hostin in February of 2022 with his policies. It started with CRT, let's remember that, and those are anti-history laws, anti-black history laws, really. She said, if you start coming after black people, what comes next, right? Of course, the LGBTQ plus community, and then women, and then other marginalized groups. And let's be clear, what Sonny Hostin said there in that last quote was 100% accurate because it started with CRT panic last year in 2021, and then this year they've moved on to LGBTQ plus people. This hyper focus on drag shows and don't say gay laws. And now we're seeing reproductive rights of women being taken away by the right. So what they're saying about Ron DeSantis, these are accurate criticisms. They're harsh, but nonetheless, they're accurate. And even if they were uncharitable, don't you as a public figure feel the need to defend yourself? Well, no, because Ron DeSantis views this as a sort of power move. But in actuality, it's a bitch move. It makes you look like you don't want to respond to your critics. Now, his actual press secretary, Christine Pushaw, tweeted this. Liberal media wants to interview Governor DeSantis because his popularity draws ratings, but Governor Ron DeSantis will not assist failing legacy media outlets in growing an audience for their smear pieces and biased reporting laden with contempt for Americans. Okay, first of all, they're not reporters, they're commentators. So they can be biased in their capacity as political commentators. They might have dumb views, uninformed views sometimes. I often criticize, you know, hosts on The View, but they're not reporters. So to claim that they're like inaccurate and biased really is not applicable to this particular situation. But I mean, this is a fascist move right out of Trump's playbook. Let me remind you of this 2016 article from Vox. Trump will skip Fox News' debate because of Megyn Kelly. So somebody who's a Democrat, a small-D Democrat, they actually believe in letting the media criticize politicians, people in power. Even if you disagree, you know, this is a job of the media. They're supposed to hold elected officials accountable, and oftentimes they fail. But in the instance of criticizing Ron DeSantis, the ladies on The View have been pretty accurate. So if 
you don't want to face them, that says more about you than it does about them, but they're trying to flip this and make it seem as if, oh, well, we won't give in to your bias. We won't legitimize your new show, when in actuality it's because he's afraid to face them because he knows that their criticisms are accurate and correct. He doesn't want to defend his COVID policy that led to thousands and thousands of people dying unnecessarily so in the state of Florida. He doesn't want to defend his bigoted don't say gay law now knowing that the effect has led to discrimination against queer teachers and queer students. So even if he tries to spin this and his team tries to spin this as a power move, in actuality, it makes him look weak. But this is what fascists do. They don't like criticism. They try to ignore and eventually shut down their critics. Somebody who uh, Ron DeSantis has taken cues from, Viktor Orban, the dictator of Hungary, uh, he claims that you have to control the media. That's the way that you consolidate power. I'm paraphrasing, of course, but, you know, if he already copied Don't Say Gay from Viktor Orban, perhaps he's copying that same media policy or, you know, guideline for himself. So, you know, that's where we're at. Ron DeSantis is too afraid to face critics on The View. And um, I don't blame him because with how terrible of a governor he's been, actually facing your critics when they have legitimate criticisms isn't going to end well for you. So the best move for him politically would be to just dodge this appearance altogether. But it makes him look weak, even if he thinks that this is going to make him seem really strong and disciplined. No, it makes you look like a bitch, Ron DeSantis. Were you acting like a...